What is up, folks? Welcome back. So summer is around the corner, and most of you are getting your bodies ready for the beach. I kind of have bad news for that, because today, I have two dessert cocktails made with Dizzerono Velvet. Let's get behind the stick. I already made the drinks, but before I show you how to make these drinks, this Arona Velvet, our main ingredient, is essentially the classic amaretto from this Arono, but in a cream liqueur. You still get a little bit of that almond, nutty, and apricot flavors, but in a cream version. This product is a somewhat of a new release and I haven't seen a lot of applications with it, so I figured why not give it a try. This Arona Velvet may be enjoy neat or on the rocks, and it also works fantastically in any dessert like cream based cocktails. Now let's just go ahead and make the two drinks. The first drink we're making, I simply call it Velvet Slide, which is a mudslide variation. As I mentioned before, Dizzerono Velvet works great on cream-based cocktails, and the mudslide is no exception. This drink was created in the 1970s by swapping cream for Irish cream, such as Bailey's, in a white Russian. In modern days, this drink is served with ice cream, but instead of using ice cream, adding heavy cream adds the creaminess you would want in this drink without making it too sweet. As for the coffee liqueur, I'm gonna use Mr. Black. This liqueur is super popular lately. If you haven't heard of it, it's essentially a cold brew coffee liqueur. It's very balanced in flavors, it's not very sweet, and you can even enjoy it on the rocks. As for the spirit, we're going ultimate smooth here. Using Tito's Vodka, handmade, gluten-free, distilled at least six times from Austin, Texas. It's just smooth vodka. Now it's time for some Dizzerono Velvet. You need one ounce or 30 mils in this drink. One thing you should note is that Dizzerono Velvet does in fact contain dairy. Now grab a chilled cocktail glass. I'm gonna use this fancy one here. Add ice to your shaker and give it a good, hard, smooth shake for about 15 seconds. Once done shaking, double strain your cocktail into your glass. Quickly, I want to mention that this recipe is not as sweet as you would think. If you want it sweeter, add about half an ounce or 15 mils of simple syrup. Or you can substitute the cream with one to two scoops of vanilla ice cream and blending the drink instead. As for the garnish, grab a piece of dark chocolate and grate a generous amount on your drink. And there we have the velvet slide. Not too sweet, but still creamy and satisfying. Nowadays, there's a Starbucks pretty much everywhere. While one can argue about the quality of their beverages, one thing can't be denied here. Starbucks is really popular, and a lot of people actually love their drinks. Today, I'm making my boozy version of their caramel macchiato. First of all, I think in order to balance all the richness in this drink, I need to add a couple dashes of saline solution. This is like adding salt to your food. Just a little bit enhances your flavors. Next up, add two ounces or 60 mils of heavy cream. You wanna use this much heavy cream. It adds the perfect amount of creamy texture to the drink. Besides, this is like a boozy dessert cocktail after all. Now, I made my own vanilla syrup by adding half of a vanilla bean into my simple syrup. But if you don't wanna do all that, you may simply add simple syrup and a little bit of vanilla extract. I'll leave the full recipe in the description below. But in order to add more complexity to the drink, we're gonna use some of the original Disarono. But I don't want it to be the main ingredient in this drink, so just half an ounce or 15 mils should be more than enough. Put the bottle away and then add one ounce or 30 mils of chilled espresso. You want it to be pretty fresh, but not super hot. With the espresso, feel free to add your desired amount. 
If you want more caffeine, add some more. But if you don't want as much coffee, then don't add as much. This is all up to you. The drink wouldn't be complete with some spirit in it. I'm using smooth Tito's. But honestly, use any white spirit you want. It wouldn't be a Disarono video without using, yet again, the Disarono Velvet for 1 ounce or 30 mils. Once you have all those ingredients in your shaker, grab a chilled glass. This time, you want a glass that is big enough. I'm using this Pilsner. Add about 3 ice cubes to your shaker and give it a quick whip shake for about 10 seconds. Once done shaking, unlike me, you can have the glass already prepared with crushed ice. If not, now's the time to add ice to your glass, and then you can strain your cocktail in your glass. It's already looking fantastic, but I feel that we could take it to the next level with our garnishes. Oh yeah, I'm going there. First, let's add some whipped cream. Any whipping cream works. You can even make your own. Add as much or little whipped cream as you want. And on top of that, drizzle some caramel sauce. We're going all in here. Serve the drink with a straw and optionally add a pinch of flaky salt on top of your drink. This will add a nice touch of salted caramel flavor. And there you have it. Two dessert cocktails with Disarono Velvet. I'm really surprised how good the caramel macchiato tastes. Is it really a macchiato? Of course not. It's still a guilty pleasure type of drink. Do you have better names for these two cocktails? Let me know in the comments. With that said, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out all my other Disarono cocktail videos. I'll leave the link above and in the description as well. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all the next one. Cheers.